recently, Musk decided to make an important improvement to the Starship. Now, you might be wondering, how will this new improvement make a difference to the spaceship? At first, we have to understand the tough situations and challenges the Starship faced this year. On April 20th, 2023, this incredible spacecraft encountered a series of difficult obstacles. Engine failures disrupted the mission, leading to a frightening explosion. Despite this setback, SpaceX quickly got to work on upgrades for future Starship missions, including further improvements. For example, the innovative flap design. What more does Elon Musk have in his mystery box? And how will these advancements impact the future of SpaceX? Stay tuned to find out. Elon recently tweeted, We made the Starship even more powerful, able to carry 250 to 300 tons in its expendable mode. With improved thrust and ISP from the Raptor engine, it can now lift off with around 6,000 tons of weight. This makes the Starship an incredibly big cargo carrier in space, changing the way we travel in space with its impressive payload abilities. Instead of seeing the recent incident as a setback, SpaceX considers it as a valuable opportunity to make things better. They have learned from the failures that occurred during the flight and are now actively investing in upgrades and revisions to improve the design and engineering of the Starship. Three, the aim is to prevent two, similar issues one. from happening in future launches. Elon Musk has revealed some changes to the design of the Starship, specifically involving a significant redesign of the flaps. These flaps play a critical role in controlling the spacecraft during its unique landing maneuver. The proposed changes include reducing the size of the flaps and modifying their position on the spacecraft. These modifications aim to improve the efficiency of the flaps during the re-entry and landing stages, potentially eliminating the need for static aerodynamic covers and simplifying the overall design of the spacecraft. These changes would also reduce the weight of the vehicle, which is important for efficient space travel. One important feature of the Starship design is its autogenous pressurization system. This system replaces the traditional method of using helium tanks to pressurize the spacecraft with a more efficient process. It uses the rocket's own fuel, which is liquid methane and oxygen, to maintain the desired pressure in the tanks. This system makes the operation of the Starship more reliable and cost-effective while eliminating the risk of problems related to the mixture of gases. Unlike other rockets that rely on hot staging, such as the Proton series, the Starship's autogenous pressurization system eliminates the need for such techniques. Recent observations at SpaceX's Starbase have revealed an intriguing stainless steel ring segment, suggesting possible design modifications to the Starship. This new section features several cutouts arranged in six arches around the hull, resembling a design characteristic found in the inner stage of Proton rockets. These rockets are well known for their hot staging technique, which involves igniting the engines of the next stage before separating the current one, allowing for quick separation between stages. Although the Starship's autogenous pressurization system eliminates the need for hot staging to address gas mixture issues, the addition of this feature could be seen as a precautionary measure following the recent Starship mishap. Utilizing hot staging could enable rapid separation of the booster in case of a malfunction, thereby enhancing safety for crewed missions. It is worth noting that the Starship has not incorporated a dedicated abort system thus far. This system, a standard safety feature in other traditional spacecraft, 
plays a crucial role in swiftly and safely separating the crew capsule from the rest of the vehicle in the event of a catastrophic failure during launch. The abort system allows the crew to survive situations that might otherwise lead to complete destruction. However, developing an abort system for the Starship poses significant challenges due to the spacecraft's extraordinary size and weight, as well as the requirement for extremely swift engine startups in emergency situations. Compared to traditional spacecraft, the Starship surpasses them in terms of physical dimensions and payload capacity. It is not only a crew capsule, but also a colossal ship designed to accommodate substantial cargo and crew for long-term space missions. Therefore, the large size and weight of the Starship make it difficult to create an efficient abort system that can quickly generate enough thrust to move it away from a malfunctioning super-heavy booster during launch. Additionally, the emergency engines must start up very quickly to ensure the crew's safety in case of a mission failure. An effective abort system not only requires the capability to produce substantial thrust, but also demands a near instantaneous response. In response to the incident that occurred on April 20th, SpaceX is taking steps to reinforce the ground beneath its Starship rocket's orbital launch pad. They are developing a large water-cooled steel plate to protect the ground from the powerful thrust generated by the first-stage Raptor engines of the Starship. This proactive approach aims to prevent damage to the launch pad, similar to the extensive scarring and marks observed after the inaugural flight of the Starship. Although the steel plate technology was not ready for the historic launch, SpaceX has prioritized its development and has successfully demonstrated its durability in tests. SpaceX is wasting no time in regrouping for another launch attempt. The company has requested a six-month window from June 15th to December 15th to launch a Starship prototype into Earth's orbit from their Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. The specific payload for this launch attempt is yet to be disclosed, but SpaceX has applied for a special temporary authority from the Federal Communications Commission FCC, for the mission. Additionally, they will need permission from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, to obtain a rocket launch license. SpaceX sees the recent incident as an opportunity for improvement and is actively investing in upgrades and revisions to the Starship's design and engineering. They are considering potential design updates, including the incorporation of a hot staging technique to enhance safety measures. However, implementing an effective abort system presents challenges due to the size and weight of the Starship. Changes to the flaps and reinforcement of the launch pad are also underway. SpaceX is preparing for another launch attempt and has applied for the necessary permissions to continue their ambitious space exploration endeavors. In conclusion, SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation is propelling us into a new era of space exploration.